We talked about this movie before, The Creator. We talked about this movie before, The Creator. John David Washington, Denzel Washington's son. I don't think we need to preference that no more. I think he's he's John David Washington. That's who he is. No, no more Denzel son, yada, yada, yada. Um, but the critics have came out with, you know, after reviewing the film, first social media reactions to the creator and is getting strong reviews from the critics. Now, I will be the first to say just because the critics say something is good don't necessarily mean it's good. I reported last week, I want to say about payola <laughs> was virtually payola payola. And, and when it comes to Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, and who knows how far it goes. It could be Cinema Score, could be YouTube, uh, not YouTube, could be Google, could be Yahoo when, when giving these these uh, stars and these scores and things like, you know what I'm saying, from the critics. But so this film was produced by 20th Century Studios, which is now owned by Disney, which used to be 20th Century Fox Studios. And it's like I said, it stars John David Washington and Gemma Chan. Gemma Chan, you might know from The Eternals or the as as forementioned uh captain marvel movie so they say this flick is inspired by blade runner akira et you know what i'm saying just a smorgasbord of sci-fi you know what i'm saying if you're in the sci-fi this might be the one you might want to go check if you're saving your dollars for something this might be this might be the one you know what i'm saying fans are excited to check out edward's latest works as is a fresh idea of being tossed into a sea of sequels a familiar ip in the theaters i think that's what's what probably will be driving this film is it's supposed to be a, a, a breath of fresh air it's supposed to be original right it's supposed to be original which is a good especially when it comes to sci-fi we, we haven't had too many original things it's been like few and far in between when it comes to originality in sci-fi you know what i mean it's been few and far in between when it comes to originality in sci-fi <laughs> So the social media embargo for the creator officially dropped midnight, uh, Tuesday, September 19th. Soon after, a flood of, of glowing reviews was posted on, on X, praising the new film. Brandon Davis called the creator astonishing, astonishingly good, right? Best film of the year, best sci-fi film in ages. In my opinion, Gareth Edward flips expectations really impressively for a visceral, touching, and creative story of humanity genuinely loved it you have to see this one uh adding some more praise simon thompson says the creator is breathtaking in scale and vision very emotionally uh much more than anticipated it's ambitious and mostly his targets it shoots for john david washington turns into an engaging performance a blend of strength and empathy and it should be seen on the big screen if you when, when i played this trailer it just looks like you got to watch this in the theaters to get the full effect of the movie, right? The trailer already sucked me in. So I'm, I'm going to probably go check this one out in the theaters. Another one says, uh, Griffin Schiller says, the creator is a masterful piece of original sci-fi. Gareth Edwards is one of our great filmmakers, a soulful, nuanced, Lucas-like in, in, uh, integration of human beliefs and biases and our insecurity in the face of something greater spectacle and heart to the highest order pure cinema baby <laughs> they loving this film man and and it, it sounds genuine it sounds genuine i i got i will give them the benefit of the doubt i'll read one more uh joseph deckelmeyer says the creator is a masterpiece in one of the year's uh best movies it hits on so many levels with ai being such a hot topic gareth edward does a masterful job of keeping the audience engaged every step of the way Madeline Univoyos has been the conversation for the Oscars. So they saying that it's an Oscar worthy performance in this film. Oscar worthy performance. With that being said, can it win an Oscar? Gareth Edwards is best known for being the director of Rogue One, a Star Wars story, arguably one of the best Lucasfilm projects since Disney since Disney bought the company i will co-sign that yes that rogue one a star wars story is one of the better star wars uh stories out there right it was nominated for best sound mixing and best visual effects but it did not win anything uh, following his work on that he went and did godzilla the creator 
um, I'm sorry, he went and did Godzilla back in 2014. Um, the expectations are that the films like Oppenheimer, Killers of the Flower Moon, and Past Lives could be up for Best Picture in the 90 Cents Academy Awards. I wonder why they won't put Barbie up there. I think Barbie should be in that too. Something that you know the the the, the Oscars, man. After the the debacle of last year, I I mean, you know, it wasn't like I was really trusting them anyway. But I'm gonna just side eye them. That's all I got to say. Just some of the stuff that they do is just be straight silly, straight dumb. Uh, but based on these reviews, there may be room for the creator to get a nomination at least, right? For one of those sound mixing, screenplay, best visual effects. It's maybe something could come up, right? Uh, the CGI looks impressive. The AI robots, eighty million dollar budget. That's see Marvel. You see how they put this good looking film together for eighty million dollars. Where y'all at? Eighty million. Eighty million. This movie gonna be profitable just off of that. It only did eighty million. That's how you make a film, man. That's that's how you so you can so you can be profitable. Think about it. 80 minutes. Let's say this movie goes on and does 700. Hey, it start getting close to that billion dollar mark. Do you know how much money they make? They ain't even do 100 million. Marvel take heed. DC take heed. All these big IPs take heed. You don't have to spend buku amounts of money to make a good film y'all are professionals y'all got these dope editing rooms these dope editing teams put them to work make them trim that fat off oh. quality man and, and just make the best film have quality control in the picture i don't think y'all spend all that money but it don't seem like quality control be there don't seem like quality control be there but y'all let me know what y'all think about the creator. Are you going to see it? Is it one of those films that could be Oscar worthy? Just based off the trailer, could it be Oscar worthy? Is John David Washington, John David Washington, is he a star? And if he is, how bright is he shining right? Y'all let me know down in the comments, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments.